This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Bang Jack Station in Chiang Mai. Uh, I'm charging up at the P Station. And I just finished the Bang Bangkok Chiang Mai challenge now. And now I'm charging up for, for the range test. Uh, this is going to be the part two of the Bangkok challenge. Me trying to get home, but I miscalculated. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I misplanned the whole thing. It's 10 in the evening now. And the car might finish charging in an hour or something. Um, so I, I need food also. I, I almost didn't have any food today. So we're supposed to get back to Ayutthaya. It's going to be freaking early in the morning by the time I get there. And I hope I can get a little bit of sleep before I head back. But okay, so uh, we are charging up now. Um, I just have to get some food quick while we're waiting for the car. It might need an hour before it finishes. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, okay. So the plan is to just walk around here somewhere, see if I can find something. Yeah, yeah, we'll see, let's we'll see. There's gotta be something here. Because this one is closed for now and it's not really food. It's just a cafe. Wow, we are... The Bank Jack station is over there. I had to walk a little bit. I had to find something. Uh, there is something here open. I just ordered some Japanese food. We also have 7-Eleven and some noodle, stop, noodle shop open over there. So even at 10 at night, there's still some stuff open. We see lots of stuff is closed over here. <laughs> so yeah, but at least we're getting some food. Okay, here's the food. I just ordered some rice with some pork and salad. So yeah, but I also bought some from 7-Eleven in case I'm more hungry. Uh, and of course, always buy oishi ice, uh, yeah, green tea. <laughs> so let's dig in then. Okay, let's try this. I don't know what the heck it is, but I'm so hungry right now that I can eat anything. Mmm, mmm. Wow. Dip this one, I guess. This is nice. Mm. All right, that was great food. Now we are back at the P station. So I think we've been here about uh, one and a half hour already. And we are still at 92%. I'm gonna show you here. Yeah, 92%. But you see here, even at 92%, we are getting 14 kilowatt. So that is a decent speed. So in case you need to charge this car to 100% because you're going to no man's land, then even going past 90% is, is decent, yes. You know, if, we're, if the speed dropped to, let's say five kilowatt, uh, then that's kind of shitty, but 14, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, we are actually doing the range test right now, but I'm gonna show you guys the headlights. The window has no tint. Boom, look at it, wow. Holy macaroni, the headlights here are great. Oh, wow, they, are, they have good spread. Even the low beam has good spread. Look at this. Low beam has really good spread. High beam also. Boom, and powerful. Wow, this is, this is really good headlights. Oh, way better than the MG. Uh, almost as good as the Tesla headlights. But like maybe or neck on neck really. I feel like the Tesla headlights they are one notch brighter.
Great Wall of China. We are now in Kampeng Pet. And let me just check the clock again. It's almost four in the morning. I was thinking, yeah, I will arrive at the hotel in Ayutthaya, maybe two at night. But no, no, no. I just totally miscalculated by far. Normally, I'm quite good at calculating things and estimating how long things will take. But I think the mistake I made here was that we started a little bit late from, uh, from Bangkok. That's one thing. But also, I did range test. And I forgot to count that the range test takes a, takes a lot long time compared to just hammering it. So the range test took probably two hours extra because I had to drive slow and because I had to charge really long. <laughs> oh, so I estimated I would be in a hotel maybe around seven, but you know, I, I call and ask the hotel uh, and the breakfast starts at seven. So I'm like, okay, I, I would just go to the hotel, eat breakfast and then pass out and sleep until, I don't know, 11 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but at least we are charging here now. The, the Aura Good Cut is unstoppable. Yeah, okay, it needs a little bit of charging. That's the problem. It needs a bit of charging time, but... Oh, let's just... Uh, yeah, let me show you here. So, again, since I don't have LFP with the... I wish they would have designed this car to have slightly higher voltage. Because of my eye. You see, we're getting around 42 kilowatt right now. Would have been nice to be uh, to get at least 47, 48 kilowatt if the voltage was 50, 50 higher, but... Uh, so that means we have to get stuck here for a little bit before we can get moving further south. Uh, I was charging at 52... Suddenly I get power fault and there just flickers and what the heck is going on now? 420 at night! Dude, I just want to get back to the hotel. What? Motor fault. What the heck is wrong here, man? It's recommended. Huh? Shit. We've been here 39. Okay, okay. Let's let's try to unplug the car. Yeah, okay. At least we can unplug the car. Lock it. What? Power fault. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dynamic system fault. What? What the heck? Are you serious? Come on. Okay, I tried to plug it in again. Some people suggest that I can try this, but I also look in the manual. There's no manual in this car. It just says charging finished. So it is, yeah. But when I was charging and the, the charging stopped, I heard this grunk, which is the distinct sound of power switch cutting power to the thing. And I, okay, I'm gonna show something else, but let's try AC charging at least. You see, if we do this, we can start the AC, we can start the HVAC, the fans are running, but if you notice, the windows are still fogging and I, I, you don't hear that humming sound. You see, it, AC claims to be on, but it's actually not on. And the fans, they run on 12 volt. That's common for Tesla or other EVs. Whereas the AC compressor runs off the high voltage battery. This is an indication that the high voltage battery 
is not uh, it's not on it's off and that's probably why when you do this you want to start driving it, it just falls because the car is trying to access the high voltage battery but they can't get it um you know I, it just self power off and then i let it sleep for about 10 minutes and then i press the brake and suddenly we are in the ready state so it had a weird hiccup you know i've seen this before in ipace when jaguar ipace fail people say lock the car leave it there for a while and then come back i tried it but i was being impatient and i, I let it just stay for one minute everything seems to be okay now <laughs> it just needed a reset by locking and walking away let's try to plug it in and charge and see what happens let's see yeah it's okay it's everything the errors are suddenly gone now oh yeah we're back in the game <laughs> we're charging now getting over 40 kilowatts so i don't know what the heck happened but let's just get to 65 percent and get the heck out of here Thirty in the morning the sun is about to come up oh we are back with daylight this trip took way too long man oh holy crap so yeah we are now on the 120 zone i'm hammering it just want to get over there to the charger and then get over to the hotel <laughs> i'm running out of sleeping time here before uh, i have to return the car Oof. oh well well, well, well. Finally, we are here. I'm gonna have a little pee stop. <laughs> P-E-A, okay, okay, okay. 120 amp, yes, this is going to be the last charging session for this car, I think, for the day, and also I'm going to charge enough for tomorrow. So the plan is to try to find something to eat. Uh, I don't think anything is open here. I have to check it out. Hmm. Right, I went inside the big C mini mart and just bought some food. Uh, I don't know what, what the, whatever it is. This is um, some kind of sandwich. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll I'll go food. I will have food spree once I'm back with wifey in Changdao in Chiang Mai. Hmm. No. Have some more. I figured I should just eat now while I'm charging because I need to top up enough to get to the hotel and then to get <clears throat> over to the airport. Like the soy. Mm. This is good stuff. So we have 37%, no rush. I'm gonna stay here for maybe 15 20 more minutes just to fill up enough. Let's see. Sun is rising. Finally, we're getting some heat. Mm. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> and also the bun. Oh. Right, we're down to uh, 37 kilowatts. 68%, almost good to go now. But okay, I think I will just end the video here. So um, what I will say is that I totally miscalculated uh, this trip. and. From what I learned now is that when you travel through Thailand, the average speed is way lower than in Europe, mainly because of these 
the, the left, I mean the right lane huggers and lower speed limits and you have to drive through a lot of cities and you have these stop lights and the stop lights they tend to be three to five minutes long and last freaking forever you have many of them so well 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 and the range test took extra time <laughs> but um and, I, and also when it comes to what the heck happened at the previous charger um i will ask well i mean great role models they will look into the logs fortunately this car logs a lot and they will figure out what happened um i heard case in norway where uh, a charger actually um <laughs> A charger ruined the car a faulty charger ruined the car so i don't know yet i'm not trying to defend anyone i'm just saying that uh, the possibilities are open it could be that the charger was doing some weird shit because the first charger i tried on the bank i didn't have time to film it i was only getting around 10 10 14 kilowatt maybe 14 kilowatt yeah i was getting 37 amp from it uh and i was like huh what uh, and then before I even got time to, to film, I moved to the next one and then I got 125 amp from it. So there's just some weird stuff going on with some of the chargers here, the ABP chargers that the PA uses, but okay. So I guess um, maybe I may have to make a follow video if people want to know what the heck happened. Was it the car that was buggy or was it the charger that buggy was buggy and then the car actually cut the power on the, to the HB battery to protect the battery and yeah whatever so i guess we'll find out eventually so that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoy this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later